In 90 Day The Last Resort, things started off with Ed and Liz, who both talked about their experiences with past life regression therapy. I said leprechaun. I wish I wouldn't have said that because I, I wasn't a leprechaun, but I was dressed in green and I had a funny, stupid hat on. I don't know if to believe in leprechauns now or not. <laughs> I don't know if anything surprised me anymore, so. What would be like a really like straight, like non-joking profession? I would be completely shocked if you were like a monk Ed, in the past. Ed the monk. I'll take it. I'd have to be quiet. Are you, can you imagine? <laughs> yeah. They would kick me out of the temple. Liz said in her session she learned that she had been reincarnated multiple times and Ed has been with her in past lives. I only went to one lifetime, but I knew that I've been reincarnated 20, 28 times. And you've been in my life seven. Really? You were there. Wow. I didn't see anyone. Yeah, but I remember your eyes. My eyes? It was your eyes. And you were hesitant to like, be in this journey with me. What did you tell him that you would do for him? I told him that I would show him love unconditionally. The past lives therapy seemed to really bring the pair closer. I still have a load of things to work on, I know that. But there's no question that I want to be with you, that you're the one for me. There's, there's no more of that. So I'm going to start there. I'm still going to be funny though, so, but with moderation. This experience has definitely given us insight. You know, I, I think we learned some things about ourselves. Angela met with a therapist and discussed how she brought divorce papers to the retreat. And Angela wasn't sure if she wanted to set them aside or not. I need to think about that because if he's going to continue to lie, I'm to that point where I'm done. Some of the things that I think Michael struggles with with her in the relationship is her anger and her emotional explosion. And he doesn't have an opportunity to speak. And in order for Michael to talk in the session today, it's gonna to be important that he feels safe. During their therapy session, Michael expressed gratitude for Angela traveling to be with him after his mom passed away. Angie loves me so much and she has been there for me in good and bad times. A week after my mom passed on, she flew down to Nigeria to be with me. Despite the fact that I cheated on her, and uh, I must say that was true love. And my mom accepts Angela as part of my family. So I want to honor my mom's memory by treating Angela with love and respect. Michael's comments caused Angela to tear up and get emotional. This is the first time I felt like this in a year, that I feel the love still. He loves me, you know what I mean? That's, mm -hmm. that's true. Um, it means so much to you. You've been waiting for that moment to feel his genuineness. I mean, last year I just felt like he was using me, like really, because I never thought he would do what he did, you know? And I just thought it was opportunist. I believe you now, I just needed to hear it from his heart. Kelly is still upset after his interaction with Molly last episode, where she told him she's not in love with him. You know, if she doesn't want you, man, move on, man. Yeah. You're Kelly, a good-looking guy. Are you cold? Do you want me to ask someone to yeah, bring your robe? Yeah, please. Yeah, because Do it's kind of windy. Get as much out of this as you can. I mean, we're all here to learn something. I mean, once you hear that your significant other tell you they don't, they're not yeah, in love with you, and uh, it's sad. just like... I haven't seen or spoken to Molly since in the Kama Sutra session, and I really don't want to be around her. It's bad when Ed is even trying to give me advice. Ed. They saw each other at the pool during a group hangout, and Molly was put off with how Kelly was portraying their situation to the group. It's so interesting because he said that he's trying so hard to fix all of this, would you? Because he feels like he has this, like, you know, teddy bear persona to protect. But I'm going to tell you right now, the Kelly that I met is not the Kelly that I got when he moved to Georgia. I don't appreciate Kelly trying to paint me as this terrible person or holy reign of terror. 
Put yourself out there, brother. You act like you haven't done anything when you know good and damn well what you've done. Later, she revealed how Kelly acted after she underwent surgery and how much his actions upset her. It's little things that mean a lot to yeah. me, right? I had a hysterectomy and he, he didn't do nothing. He said, I didn't come here to be your do boy. You're not my do boy, you're my partner. Kelly's behavior after my hysterectomy, I was a little disappointed, I really was. He didn't pay a lot of attention to me, and I didn't get flowers, I didn't get a card, I didn't get <laughs> That kind of makes a girl feel bad. Kalani says she relates to what Molly is going through. I know what it feels like to have a partner that puts in zero effort, so I can't really blame Molly for being over Kelly. Being at the resort with women who are in similar situations with me, it makes me feel better. I feel like I had to suffer alone for so long, and now I'm like getting good advice from everyone around me. As for the guys, they are still hyped up about going to the strip club, but Ed doesn't want to lie to Liz. I, I know strippers who work in Key West. You do? Yeah, so I got the hookup. That's one of the main reasons. Like, so I don't want my wife to find out. Don't tell the girl. No, I'm not going to, but are you okay? Are you sure? So, like, look, I have no, like, emotional connection with this girl right no, now. No, no, at no, all, no. But, like, look. she will cut your wavels off. I cannot believe that Jovi even wants to go to a strip club considering his history with Yara. To top it off, Asuelo's on board and he's on the verge of losing Kalani. There's no way in God's heaven that I'm gonna lie to Liz and end up like them. Kelly seems to have a suspicion that Ed might spill the beans. I do not trust Ed. Ed is gonna tell. I don't think the guys realize the consequences of them going to the strip club, but I'm not responsible for these grown men. They know how their wives are and that's on them. I'm good. Things got heated later on with Kelly and Molly as they talked about their issues with the group. Stop asking her. me. If you Ask her. her. You came here it because is. you care about her. I'm not here to fight. I've he's got no fight he's left. Talking, though. Yes, but did. he's not because it's a blame game and nobody wants to deal with that. I'm not blaming anything. I'm just stating what you said. If you can't own up what you said, Molly also laid out to the others how things are financially between them. We're not engaged. We don't live together. He's in a too expensive apartment that he didn't even put a bed in to make it comfortable for me to come there with my kid. Is he financially contributing to your relationship? No! And that is a problem. <laughs>